What's up, J-Fusion fans, and welcome back to another Superhero Time review. And today, Superhero Time has a lot of debuts going on. So, both for Kamen Rider Zero One and Kira Major as well. Now, without further ado, let's go into the reviews. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, just a reminder, this video is not intended for viewers below the age of 13. So, please be advised. Anyways, moving on. So, Kamen Rider Zero One marks the debut of Kamen Rider Arc Zero. Now, there's no more spoilers there. We already have uh, seen the previews. We've already shown uh, the scans. And now uh, we see Arc Zero in action. Now, if any one of you have read my post a few weeks ago, uh, regarding who Arc Zero is, you know, who he's going to be. So it turns out this is another uh, theory that proves that we are correct. So, of course, uh, it has been revealed before, uh, about a couple of weeks back. So, yes, we have confirmed that Horobi is indeed Arc Zero, but... There is also kind of a twist to that, and you will see it once you have seen episode, uh, the latest episode of Kamen Rider Zero One. So, uh, again, yes, uh, Horobi is the one chosen to transform into Arc Zero, but there is a reason why uh, Arc Zero was actually brought into being. And again, it's something that you will find out once you've seen the episode. So I won't spoil that part. Don't worry. Now, for other areas of uh, today's episode. So uh, I actually am interested in the introduction of I, the new AI created by uh, Hidden Manufacturing. Not Hidden Intelligence, by the way. So uh, it's Aruto's new company. So, of course, uh, as revealed uh, just last week, uh, the voice actress for I is Mao Ichimichi. So, <laughs> the return of Waga Mao. Uh, the, the different uh, Mao, but you, you, you get the point, guys. <laughs> so, uh, she is back with Toei, but this time she is with Kamen Rider series. And it's interesting uh, to see that uh, she has such love for Toei, and Toei has such love for her that uh, she's now part of the Kamen Rider Zero One cast, albeit, again, as a voice actress. But with Ai's debut, it's interesting, it's interesting to see that it's not actually Aruto who is focused on that side of the story, but it's actually Isamu. So, if you guys uh, recall a few episodes back, so we uh, if we do learn that all the memories of Isamu's past where uh, he was chased by Hyuma Gears, you know, especially that Daybreak incident, they were all complete lies created by Zaya. And, you know, after that, Fuo realized, hmm, what about my family? What happened to them? This is the episode where we actually uh, hear about uh, Fuwa's family. So, uh, are they okay? What are they doing right now? Uh, who knows? So, uh, if you want to find out about uh, Fuwa's family, uh, Isamu's family, watch this episode. And I, I really do have a lot of things to say about uh, what's happening, but... Uh, I might say some spoilers, but again, it's interesting uh, to look at Arc Zero's debut. So that is the key point of today's episode. And for that, Kamen Rider Zero One gets a 4.5 out of 5. It's a near-perfect episode, so uh, it's really uh, putting up with the pace of the show. Uh, hopefully, we do see... Kamen Rider Zero Two very soon, so watch out for that as well. Now moving on 
to Kira Major. Of course, uh, today is the debut of Kira May Silver. So, of course, uh, we are introduced to Takamichi Crystallia as well. And by that name alone, you know there is something up with that guy. And, uh, well, with that, there is something about this episode as well. So, uh, maybe it's making up for lost time, but today's episode is so fast-paced. Like, everything, well, almost everything about Takamichi we see immediately. And we also get to see him transform and fight for the first time. Uh, his uh, mecha will debut, by the way, uh, next week. So it's something to look forward to. But yeah, uh, we do see uh, his uh, fighting style. Uh, he is a power type. So he uses a lot of strength in battle. And we actually find out why he's super strong. Uh, again, uh, there's something about him. I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, <laughs> you guys watch the episode to find out. Now, while it is uh, Takamichi's debut episode, there is also a focus on Mio as well, or... Uh, sorry, I was talking about the actress, not the role. So, Sayo, uh, Kirame Pink. Yes, she's also focused in this episode as well. And uh, you will see the development of their story in this episode too. So, uh, I don't want to say much about uh, Kira Major's plot for today because, again, uh, spoilers as well. Yeah, uh, because... Both Kamen Rider Zero One and Kina Major are so fast paced today. Uh, again, it may be making up for a lost time. We all know uh, broadcasting for both shows were quite uh, suspended because of the recent pandemic. But now we see uh, them moving forward and breakneck speeds, guys. Breakneck speed with the plot. So. Today's Kino Major, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Again, it's a good, really action-packed episode, fast pace, but it may be too fast for me. I don't know. Uh, but again, uh, I don't want to talk about more details because it will spoil a lot. Uh, so, however, we will see in the next episode what's with Takamichi, and uh, yeah, we will learn everything about him. Now, I th now this actually makes me want to make another video about Takamichi as well, but I guess I might have to do that next week uh, in order to talk about him a bit more. Uh, it may contain some spoilers, so I'm thinking about that, but. Yeah, a video about Takamichi uh, should be possible uh, next week-ish, uh, hopefully. So anyways, uh, thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please do leave a like, and comment, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you next week on another Superhero Time Review. Bye!